Alright guys, we're going to be solving a question from second chapter of the Merriam textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And in this one, we need to find the resultant of these two forces of F1 and F2, as we can see, acting at point A of the bent bar. And we also have the X and Y axis in the figure. And, and if we want to solve this, we're just going to resolve each of these two forces in X and Y component. And based on that, we can find the resultant. So let's start with the X and Y components of F1. So this will be the x component of f1 and this will be the y component so the resultant of these two is going to give us the the force f1 that we have so we are looking for resultant which is going to have one x component and one y component so if we want to find the rx we basically have sum of all forces in x direction and so far we have the x component of f1 and we also know this angle in here is 30 degrees. And if we look at the X component, we see that it's in the opposite direction of X. So we can have a negative sign F1 three kips times cosine of 30 is going to give us the X component. And we also have the X component of the force F2, which is going to be this component. And we can show the Y component as well. So for finding the X component, we need to figure out this angle in here. Uh, we know that F1 makes 90 degrees angle with the bar, but we also have this angle here, 45 degrees, which means this angle here is also 45 degrees. And we have this angle, 90 degrees, which means this has to be 45 degrees too in order to get 180 for our horizontal line. So if we look at the X component of F2, we can see that it's along positive X axis. So it will be plus 7 cosine of 45 degrees and that's going to give us our rx let's calculate this so minus 3 cosine of 30 plus 7 cosine of 45 so our rx is 2.31 kips that was our x component we're going to do the same thing for y our ry would be sum of all forces in y direction uh this time F1 has positive Y component, so it will be 3. This time we are looking for this side, so we are dealing with the opposite side of the right triangle, so it will be 3 times sine of 30 degrees. And F2 has a negative Y component since it's downward, so 7 sine of 45 degrees. And for 45 degrees, uh, the value of sine and cosine is the same. So even if we make a mistake for 45 degrees, uh, it won't change the final answer for that since the value of the sine and cosine is the same. So let's calculate this one. 3 sine of 30 minus 7 sine of 45. This is going to give us minus 3.45 kips. And if you want to show our resultant, our R would be 2.35i minus 3.45j. And if we want to find the magnitude of the force R, we just have the square root of 2.35 squared plus 3.45 squared. And if we want to calculate that, we're going to have square root of 2.35 squared plus 3.45 squared. And that's going to give us 4.17 kips as for the magnitude of the R. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for this question. Hope everything was clear. Uh, we should also, before we finish, don't forget to put the units in here too. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.